good afternoon everybody Colin here with TechOut and Apple has just seen the iOS 12 beta to developers and developers only this is not out for public beta developers yet so this will not work for you this is only for registered developers um, so if you want to install the iOS 12 beta say this is your first year as a developer if not you probably know how to do this and you already know what I'm talking about um, but what you're going to want to do is sign into the beta profile or your uh, Sorry, your developer account on your on your phone or device you want to install the beta on, and you're going to want to go to download. Let me sign in real quick, and let me do my two-factor authentication. And we are in. So you're going to want to go to downloads on the device you want to install the beta on. Um, so for instance, this is an iPhone 10, so we're going to do the iOS 12 beta. And when you click download, it's going to bring up a pop-up asking to you to choose a device, the iPhone or the Apple Watch. Um, if you're doing watchOS beta, you're obviously going to install that profile on the Apple Watch. And then it will take you here automatically, um, but you're going to go to your profiles on your device so it'll take you here and ask you if you want to install that profile you hit agree you reboot your device and it will install that profile and reboot the phone once the phone has rebooted um, you just go to software update and it will be a normal OTA update you can also um, do this over your computer if you want to download the full image and then push it through iTunes to the phone um, sometimes doing that does require you to wipe your device this does not require you to wipe your device um, I do recommend having a backup in case you need to fall back um, to iOS 11 or a previous version because once you back up in a newer software version, you cannot fall back to older software and restore that update. This has been Colin with TechOut. I hope you enjoy the iOS 12 beta and expect some more videos from me soon um, once I play around with it and I will make a video and show you guys what is new and what is coming in iOS 12.